Good morning. It is Wednesday, November 16th, I think. And I wanted to just uh, share a little, a little reading with you and a little ceremony this morning. So I'm out hiking at one of my favorite places, Beeman Park, uh, around Nashville. And favorite places in relation to home, but also it's just a really beautiful place to go. Uh, it's very quiet. Uh, there's a little air traffic, but for the most part it's quiet. So I want to uh, start by ringing us in and we're just going to take a few minutes, breathe together, meditate together, and then I'll do a reading and share a little bit of what has come through this morning, so. And I don't know if the sound carries. But the frequency does. Whew. Cutting away, dropping all that is no longer needed. We can cut, 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 cut. Clear, clear the air. Mm, look at that beautiful sunshine. Came out from behind the clouds just now. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, <laughs> it made me feel a little bit like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> so. We don't need the sage, but it's nice. I'm not gonna light it very much. I have a beautiful little shell in which to rest it in since I'm out here. And we'll, just enough to get just a, a whiff and to bless the space, an offering, an offering to the beautiful tree people and the animals, the birds, and the wind. I give my greatest, deepest thanks and gratitude, my gratitude to the people who created a space for me to come. Living in a busy place is my choice, seems to be my soul's choice. Maybe it's yours as well. So it's nice to have a respite. <sighs> I was going to go for a two mile, two mile walk. And instead I find myself on an eight mile hike. So we're taking a little pause. Heartfelt gratitude for you, for us, for being on this journey together as we come into the new ways of being human, meeting ourselves, meeting the world seen and unseen. So let's take a moment and let's just sit together. You might close your eyes, and you might gaze back at me, whatever's comfortable. You might gaze at the wall. Maybe you're sitting outside. What's right and comfortable for you? I'm gonna move the camera here. Actually, I'm gonna move myself, which is easier than moving the camera. <clears throat>
wherever you find yourself in this moment, look around you. Take it in from your heart. Open your heart space and take it in. And maybe you join me as we tone, as we sing, doing more of what I just did. And bringing that sound deep down into your body and letting it vibrate out through your heart. We can lighten up, cheer up, as Chogam Trungpa used to say. Are you still saying somewhere in the ether? Lighten up, cheer up. All right. So I'm going to do real quick. So as I was walking, a beautiful, beautiful creature came out. Uh, with some deer medicine, right? I saw a beautiful white-tailed deer uh, leapt just just a uh, hundred feet from here. So I'm gonna do a quick reading of deer. Uh, here we go. One day Fawn heard Great Spirit calling to her from the top of Sacred Mountain. Fawn immediately started up the trail. She didn't know what a horrible demon guarded the way to Great Spirit's Lodge. The demon was trying to keep all the beings of creation from connecting with Great Spirit. He wanted all of Great Spirit's creatures to feel that Great Spirit didn't want to be disturbed. This would make the demon feel powerful and capable of causing them to fear him. Fawn was not at all frightened when she came upon the demon. This was curious as the demon was the archetype of all the ugly monsters that have ever been. The demon breathed fire and smoke and made disgusting sounds to frighten Fawn. Any normal creature would have fled or died on the spot from fright. Fawn, however, said gently to the demon, Please let me pass. I'm on the way to see Great Spirit. Fawn's eyes were filled with love and compassion for this oversized bully of a demon. And the demon was astounded by Fawn's lack of fear. No matter how he tried, he could not frighten Fawn because her love had penetrated his hardened, ugly heart. And so that's just a short reading from beautiful medicine cards. Um, I love these cards. They've been with me since 1992. Uh, and I didn't need to pull the card today because the, the Fawn was with us. I do want to pull one last card. This is from the Keepers of the Light. Real quick. One more. There we go. Who do we have today? Oh, this is... Oh, that's turtle. Well, <laughs> a little turtle medicine. Go look it up. Mm, let's see. What do we have? Mm, oh, there you are. Who do we have? Mm, today we have Diana. Focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the pe best possible outcome. Again, these cards are from Kyle Gray, who is just a real dear. Um, but look at that. Diana. All right. 
focused intention, cutting through, shining. Her crown is shining. Now I want to do just a moment of reflection on that. Yesterday I was doing a session with a woman. I'll be sharing that video in a while. There's this great opening in the crown. It's the crown, right? Our crown, our halo, it's opening. Our radiance is here waiting for us. It's right there. We have to acknowledge it. We have to notice, oh, I don't feel my crown. What's going to open that up? For me, whenever it gets really questionable as to if I can access it, if I can feel it really, because you will feel it. It is a very, it is a sensation that is available to us to know that your crown is fully alive, awake, open, that we can expand beyond the physical, right? Expand beyond this, beyond these hands, this flesh. Our radiant field is so much greater. And so with focused intention, as the card indicated, right? And with gentleness as the deer, we can gently focus our intention. We don't have to, we're not striving. We're simply putting our beautiful attention and intention at the crown to open it up, clear out the fog, clear out the cobwebs, dust it off, and let it radiate. For me, getting out here, it's pretty magical. So what what's magical for you? Maybe it's right there, wherever you're seated. Maybe there's something you need to do, a corner of your house you need to go tidy up, clear away some things, let go of what is no longer um, needed in your life or wanted in your life. Uh, and as you do that, that beautiful flow, it opens at the crown and it radiates from here and it radiates from here, radiates from below all the way out and we start to access our our energy, our field, the awareness of what we are beyond the physical, which is so much greater than you can possibly imagine, greater than I can. I'm only beginning to truly understand, even though others have perceived it of me when they reflect back to me about their experience. My my sensorial <laughs> experience of it is growing, growing this awareness. So I invite you to the same and uh, be well, my friend. Have a have a great day. Have a great day. Go play. Have fun. Right. We can be all the things. We can be sacred and playful and funny and silly and, you know, sharp and doubtful and radiant and all the things that humans are right now, all the things that you are right now in this moment. Be whatever you are, however you are. Meet yourself as you are in this moment today. And no, it is enough. And you get to choose. You get to choose. As it said, think about what you desire, set your sights high, and expect the best possible outcome. Be well.